Hey, what's going on, everybody? I know most of you all know me as Extreme Card Breaks or Extreme from some of the rooms, but today I'm coming at you as myself, good old Jason. And what I'd like to start off with is, guys, I, I really need a lot of help here, and gals, too. I need you guys to watch the video on YouTube. It's going to be all over social media. I need you to like it. I need you to share it so it goes pretty much viral onto it and give me a little bit of help onto this. I never really asked for this before. But we need to make people aware of some stuff that's going on in the state of Kentucky. And everybody knows where I live at, so that's watching this. Um, pretty much a story, too. As a quick legal disclosure, I have been advised not to mention the person and or slash business on to here that did the work. Uh, and it may come up in a later video. It's probably going to be about three or four series. Um, but that's pretty much what that, all that is right there. But please give me a help here. Share this video out so we can make other people aware of what's going on and what they need to look for. Again, I bought a new home about a month ago. Really excited. We closed early on to it, which really helped me out as everybody knows me personally. Some work was supposed to be finished. A new door was supposed to be put in in my kitchen. And let me tell you first, the inspector caught this stuff. So nobody bashed the inspector on YouTube. Good, good inspector. He found that the door was rotten on the frame, and then it also went to the subfloor, and sellers agreed to fix it. They hired uh, whoever they had, contractor, I'm not too sure, licensed or not, so I, I have no idea, guys. Um, so, they end up getting a door. It wasn't the right size with the frame, but they said they would get it all in there, all this stuff to it, make sure it's sealed properly, and that they would fix the rot that was down the uh, door frame. So, on closing day, I finally met these guys, and they were supposed to come back out, I believe it was that Saturday, which turned into Monday, because they just never made it out there Saturday. So, long story short here, um, I had that whole week off vacation, went back to work, they were all tracking it, and then the following week I was off, I was told to text, I don't know if it's his co-worker or subcontractor, you know, he said, hey, I'll get you out there this week I, I don't know when but I'll let, give you a good heads up which I appreciate because he knew I had movers coming on Wednesday uh, from there no answer never came out nothing happened I talked to the realtor and she wanted to make phone calls and I said please don't I don't want these people out here at all I cannot trust them you know they're not showing up when I do I can't just keep taking time off from work well from there, it pretty much just spiraled downhill. So let's go right into this slideshow for you guys. There will be a second part of the video to where it'll show you all the floor that they put in, so stay tuned for that too. So as we're looking here at the picture, this was done on a Monday, and I did this on Tuesday morning. Nobody walked on. I was still staying in my old place. The movers didn't come till Wednesday. Um, so and they did not... They purposely did not use a dolly on this floor, nothing like that. But as you guys could see, hopefully you could trace my mouse here. The grout was not put in right. It's cracked right away. It, it's just horrible. Look at the boards they put back up in here. I mean, it's just... I don't know where they got it from. It should have been brand new boards that you tore out and put in. All right, let's move on here to the next one. I think by clicking it, maybe hitting enter. Here we go. So we're going to hit the aftermath, and if you guys want to pause the video to read what I wrote on here, you more than likely can. I just want to try to keep it to the point on to it. All right, so I, hired, I went through some, about four interviews, hired a group of people, a uh, former Navy person, uh, a great guy. He's come out there, and it was just it was bad. So the option was they could either tear out the grout, or they could put new towel and new grout in. Either way, same price. I was like, cool, I'd rather get towel I like, you know. So we get all the stuff and supplies, and this is on uh, two days ago. And they start tearing it up, and lo and behold, you can see this is the new board they put in here. This was where the towel was at, and it went around here. Around this uh, vent, or whatever you want to call it, for the condition air conditioner unit coming up. As you can see, look at the rot with the arrows. There is a little bit of traces of mold there. So, as you'll see later on in some of the pictures, it went, as you're looking at right now, to the right, down underneath the cabinets and everything. And, I mean, I don't understand why this was not seen at all. The contractor never contacted me afterwards to see, hey, how was the job? Does it look good? Can I come out and see it? Some contractor obviously knew something was up, because or whoever was the guy he hired to do this, uh, because they just 
did a patch job and just let things go. All right, as you can see, the floor was pulled up. You can see the door right there. Um, as you can see in some of the pictures here, they glued the freaking carpet to the trim. That, that's just a mess waiting to happen right now. As we were tearing, uh, I should say they were tearing up the floor. So it had two layers of laminate flooring down. Just they threw laminate on top. These guys did not do the laminate on laminate. Let me put that out there ahead of time. Whoever did the work way before all them. But as you can see, you know, whenever they got into it, they should have seen it. They should have seen where it ended up at. And it just was a bad, bad experience onto it. There's some grosser pictures too coming up, so hold on here. As you can see, as we kept tearing out the floor further and further towards the uh, underneath the cabinets, all to come out and everything, just look at it, it's gross. So I had to have all kind of stuff done from bleaching to fanning to freaking, I think it's called kills or something put on. It was all kind of stuff. So that all got taken care of, thankfully. But as you guys can see, I mean, I texted pictures of this to some people. Um, one person worked at a, a restoration and knows what this stuff is. Joking around, they said, what are you doing, growing mushrooms? That's how much bad this stuff really is. Alrighty. On to the next one here. So where this board was at, there's choices, and you can kind of tell where the choices are. I think they're like 16 inches apart, if I remember right. Well, the piece of the plywood there stopped on one joist and didn't even connect to the next one. They threw this underneath here, these boards, and the one board was only screwed down with one screw, so when you stepped on it, it, it gave down, which is just bad. And the begin with the towel wasn't even leveled. They didn't use enough level onto it. It, it. It's just a mess, complete mess that somebody would do such patchwork job instead of informing their sellers. Maybe the sellers know. I don't know. Knew about it. I highly doubt it. But it's just a shame that somebody would do this. I mean, it's really disgusting. If you guys or gals have some comments, please put them on there. Experiences, if you have videos, I have no problem looking at them and trying to talk experiences on this. But hopefully this will let you guys, everybody know who's buying a home and they're having contractors fix stuff. Please spend the money, get it, reinspect it. It will save you in the long run, unlike me. It's, I had to sell personal stuff to cover all this because I didn't. I couldn't live like this. If anybody knows me knows. Um, I, I I would not. I will lose my mind over it all. Uh, okay, so here we go. So as you guys can see in the top left hand corner, that's where the air shaft is. Where that first gray line is is where my cabinet started at. As you can see, look at the wetness there. How did they not see this and be like, oh my, we need to keep going? Because where that whole mark is there, the floor actually did settle different, so it kind of runs down to the right here. And the water just hung out right there. As you can see, now this spot here where the water on the floor is, because we they were had to tear the pipes apart, because there was no on and off switches here. He had to install this to guy. It, it's a, it was a complete mess. But look where the air vent is at. There was towel all around this, and that's the example. I, I mean, the best thing I can say, you could just tell it's nasty. Why? Why would you do this to somebody? All right, so that's pretty much the end of what I wanted to get into. But long story short, don't let this happen to you at all. This has cost me a ton of money. Uh, it's still a work in progress. I'll have everybody take a look at it and everything. But there was just so much wrong overall, and I had to try to pinpoint down to what would have been found uh, if they would have done it right. I had to rip up the whole floor in the kitchen because there was no point trying to piece together another set of linoleum to match it. Just ridiculous. So please, everybody, there's another clip coming right after this. So hold on because you'll see what the work looked like finished. You'll see it from left to right, the whole angle, me talking about it. I'm really upset about it. Um, but share this. Get it out there to the public. People should not have to deal with stuff like this. Uh, it's just bad, bad business. And if anybody has any questions, you can hit me on the YouTube uh, with a comment. I'll reply back. We'll link up somewhere. I'll try to give some further explanation to you. But thank you for viewing this first part of it. Stay tuned right now for the second part. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's just a continuation of the video. I wanted to show you guys pretty much it's not a real big area towel, but what it looks like instead with the pictures. So as you can see, 
This is all from whenever they first did it. Never came back out. Horrible. Can I see the wall? My cabinets. Same baseboards, not even cleaned off. Just some really, really crappy work. So I just want to show you guys real quick a minute of what the grout looked like. The floor itself. How they messed this up. And what to look for if you're a new first time home buyer on repairs that are being done. Have them reinspected. Don't do what I did. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Make a comment or two. Especially if you know somebody that does very good home improvements. Thanks, all.